Uh, so what I'm looking at doing here is this is a lot of open space here uh, that I could certainly use a lot more efficiently. And mainly what I'm going to look at first uh, is a place to hang my clothes. I mean, there are other areas, but they don't work as well as this. Now, the one of the things that one of the things I do have to take into account is that the microwave in the fridges here that's running microwave, you know, I'm sure stuff, you know, as minor it is could come out the side uh dust whatever miniature food product who knows but the easiest solution around that or i have two solutions one i could build a wall system along here to sort of act uh, as a barrier or i may consider doing just a curtain rod uh style going across something you know some kind of wooden dowel attached to the ceiling and then just find some really cheap um for example, pillowcases that would come down over. So if something got on them, I could pull that off, throw it in the wash real quick, and then cover it back up. Now, I do like kind of like the idea of it being closed in, except that I do need to have um, accessibility to this outlet here. However, I do have uh, space in back here that could work good for some extra storage shelves. So let me turn the camera on. I'll sh uh, hang my shirt up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so in order to make sure I'm not going too far back to the outlet and, uh, you know, these cords would, would definitely be better organized, I figure somewhere around here is a good spot for this. I think I actually happen to have this hanging up coincidentally anyway, this hook right here. And this gives at least a couple inches of that going to the back. So nothing going down the road is going to hit that cord over time. Now, the second thing is down below is where my feet are going to be at this end. That's not going to be an issue there. And if I do want to get in behind to get any supplies, I'll just put the things in behind this area that I don't need to get to uh, very often. Maybe like some extra winter supplies, uh, dehydrate for who knows however that being said uh, as you can see this is a really good amount of space that can be used a lot more efficiently all right so these two pieces are what i want to use to mount to the side and the ceiling to hold the wooden dowel All right, let's do a test. I've gone through both of these. I found a bit that was the same size as this. All right, so that fits through this one and the next one. All right, now I would have preferred it to be a little bit more snug. I wanted to kind of force it in there, but it's no big deal because once I reshape these, I plan on coming up through underneath uh, with a wooden screw to hold this wooden dowel in place. So my next step is to find something to, to uh, give this a lower profile when it's up in my bus, and I think it'll look a little bit nicer rather than have this big bulky square thing. All right, so I, I uh, used a can of paint to create my semicircle on these for the wooden dowel holder. And this I use to cut this out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is use this sander and I wanna make these look a lot nicer all the way around the front, back, uh, smooth out the sides. I do wanna stain these and then I will probably do pocket hole screws, set that up to um, hold them to the ceiling. All right, for this part, what I want to do to make it a little easier and look a little nicer is do some pocket holes. Uh, into these pieces of wood that's going to hold the wooden dowel. Uh, when I set this up, I have to make sure that this matches the depth of the wood and also this setting on this piece here. I'm going to uh, put another piece. I've already done one, so this is what it looks like. And I'll have to do another one here and then two more on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm lining the edge of this up with the opposite edge on this side because I want to keep those uh, equal distance. Now the only one who really see that of course 
when I'm hanging clothes will be me, but it's going to look nicer and be consistent. I've got this bit already set up. All right, let's take this out. And there we go. I'll do the other one, and then we will uh, look at staining these and uh, mounting this in the bus. All right, so the next step, in order to keep this wooden dowel in place, I did go through the bottom. I pre-drilled a hole enough for one of these to go down through. However, this is not quite long enough. So the next step was to create my own countersink so that when that screw goes down in, it won't go through completely. It just needs to go in deep enough to hold that wooden dowel in place. I'm going to finish uh, this one, then I'm going to stain and assemble this uh, for the bus, and I will explain why I'm leaving that red. All right, for the final step, in order to, to determine my best location, uh, I have lined this up. I'm going to use this side first because this is where my outlet. I'm not sure if you can see the outlet right now, but I do have a couple things plugged in. And in reality, I really you know want to keep this stuff away from that uh, as much as possible. Now, when I'm going down the road, the simplest thing to do if this stuff is moving is unplug the two items in back. Very easy to do. Uh, I will put this side in first, and then I will mount this side using the pocket hole screws, and then secure this in place. I've made sure that this will be relatively easy taking this in and out because I really don't want to do anything like this. All right, now the story behind the red rod, pretty simple. Have to keep a little touch of dad in the bus. Uh, he liked to collect things. We've got more things that we can probably count or know or are still aware of. And then going through the house, uh, you know, just trying to organize things after dad and uh, mom has passed. Uh, he, these were once part of the window uh, washer things you find at gas station, things like that. No, he didn't steal them. They were ones that were placed with the company where he worked at. They usually just threw them all out. He would take them home, take the end piece off. Uh, and now for me, it's going to become a very convenient hanger. So I'll be able to put quite a few things across there. Uh, and then the next step will be looking at designing some shelves uh, in back. All right, so to bring my uh, closet to uh, pretty much a conclusion, I decided to keep it open again uh, because if I did something closed in, which, you know, I admit would probably look a little nicer having doors, uh, and I could still change that, I wanted to have easier access to what's in behind. Now, there'll be shelves in behind here. Uh, but what this will be is this will be for clothes that I don't want to fold up if I don't want to bring an iron, if I don't have to, but something I might wear for nice or job interviews on the road. So I hope you found this video, if nothing else, entertaining. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.